9to5photoshoptips.com. Today we're going to be showing you how to make the Web 2.0 graphics. It's got the nice mirrored reflection on the text that we create. So I'm just going to use the text tool and add some text in here, or Texy. And uh, once that's done, we're going to OK that. And we need to make a duplicate layer of that text layer. So I'm going to drag that down and create a copy. So I'm going to rename that mirror because we're going to create a mirrored version of it. Making sure that you're on the mirrored version, go ahead and go up to the Edit, select Transform, and select Flip Vertical. What that does is it just takes what the selection that you have and makes it a mirrored image of it. The next thing that we need to do is we need to take the Move tool and move that down enough pixels so we have some separation between the two texts. Uh, we can either hit the V on our keyboard or select the Move tool. And I'm going to shift this down 10 pixels at a time by using my down arrow while holding down the shift. And that's a very quick way of moving something pretty quickly. Once that's done, now we have a space in between the two locations. I'm going to bring back up my Layers palette so you can see the two in here. We need to create a, a quick mask on there and we're going to add the gradient to that mask itself. So once I select the gradient mask, make sure that I'm on a linear black and white, we're going to take this and we're going to drag from the bottom up and that's going to give us that nice look. If it's not exactly what you're looking for, you can always just move this down to get the perfect look that you want for that reflection. Once we have that mirror complete, what we want to do is we want to add a nice layer across here in white, just a real nice subtle white, and that's going to give us a little bit more depth to the word text. So we need to create a new layer. So let's select that down here. So we have layer 1. I'm just going to call this overlay. And then we need to go up here and we need to select the marquee tool. And I'm going to just copy a little bit of that over here and I want white and I'm going to use the paint bucket tool and I'm just going to fill that in. Now the goal behind this is we want just a nice layer that sits right across the text. So once that has been selected now I have some control over how op the opacity of that. So I can just kind of adjust that and then select the marquee tool and that removes the marching ants on there. If you need to resize it, you can always go over and use your move tool and that will allow you to make some adjustments to that actual gradient in there. And now the next thing that we want to do is we want to just drop this down just a little bit to get that into perfect position of what, what our finished product is going to be looking like. And there we go.